Okay. Alright. Welcome to my channel, guys. So, this video is going to be a tutorial. Um, having problems um, with my device wanting to store my actual recorded videos. So, I'm doing this live. And then I'm going to post it online. So... Uh, this is a tutorial for a global land die so i did do a video unboxing this and sharing the die um so here's the die it's got lots of pieces um and this is what it creates it creates two different versions so um the first one is this um it makes these adorable little drawers super stinking cute look at that um i'm only using my tweezers because uh my hands are like always swollen and i want to uh, mess up that um, so in the picture also their example it shows this closed um, but I kind of changed up the design a little bit so that it would be open uh, I'm going to use this on my desk and it actually holds things in there perfectly just like that and then the other version of this is uh, like a milk carton top so, the same drawers, same size on the bottom, um, but the top is more like a milk carton. And actually, if you were to clip it like this or tie it with, like, ribbon, um, it opens up and you could, like, put little goodies inside there. So, you can glue it shut just for the look, you know, or you can clip it or, um, like, punch holes and use ribbon for it to be like that. And um, it also comes with the piece to make this tiny little pocket here. Super cute. Alright, so I'm just going to jump right into the tutorial and share with you. So, um, I will I'll, I will link the video to the unboxing of this, um, where the link to this die set is. So, first, you get this die, which makes your drawers. And you're going to cut this one four times. To make your four drawers. Okay, the next one is this. Now there is another one, a, a little bit smaller. You can see. So the bigger one here creates your back piece for this. So you need two of those if you're doing the back piece. And the one that's similar to it, but smaller, it makes the back of the this whole box here. So you need that one cut one time. Um, and I wanted to mention, it does make your score marks on uh, when you cut it. Uh, but I tried it with heavyweight cardstock, and the score marks cut through, so it was too thick. That's why I've used this, and it seems thin, but once you layer it up, with like designer paper, you can see it's not so flimsy. It's pretty sturdy. All right, and then the next die, there's two more that are similar here. So we have one a little bit bigger than the other one. And they're like, the, yeah, exact same size. So the taller one here is gonna make your side pieces. So you need two of those cut. And I've already cut everything here and got it ready. I just want to let you know how many you need of each piece um, in case you get this die and need the tutorial. All right, and this next one, the one that's a little bit smaller, it's going to make your shelves in between your drawers to give you those little places for your drawers to sit on. So you need three of those. And then this die is going to make your top, your top and your bottom actually here. So you need two of those. This one, the long skinny one, if you're putting the bo bo uh, box on the back like this, you need to cut two of these as well. And um, I mentioned it, the picture actually shows it like this, closed up on all ends. Um, I don't really understand the point of that, so I figured why not make it useful and I left out that one spot there, which I'm going to show you how to do, um, so that it can be open like this one. All right, and then you do get some more pieces here. So, 
in this video, I'm going to make this version of it. Uh, but these are the dies to make the milk carton version. So if you're making the milk carton version, you have this one, which gives you that little fold in uh, right here in the front to look like a milk carton. So you're going to need two of those. And then this gives you that top part, your closure, and you're going to need two of those. This is the little tiny pocket on the side. Um, I didn't cut any this time, but if you want the little pocket, that's it right there. Of course, you wouldn't just put a die in it. You could put, you know, flour, whatever you wanted to put in there. But that's what it makes. And then it does give you the layering piece for your drawers. Um, so this is the layering piece for the front of your drawers. And um, while I'm talking about layering pieces, I wanted to let you know. So... That's the only one that has a layering piece. So, like, for this one, I wanted to layer, um, you know, my little panels and stuff. So, I took the die. Let's see, where's it? So, this is for my side piece. Yeah. So, it on the die, there is a little bit of metal frame inside of where it cuts. So, to get my little piece to leave a border, I just traced this die. And then cut inside the pencil line. So it would make it a little bit smaller to give us our edge pieces there like that. So like for this back piece. Or you could cut this and then just trim off, you know, a certain amount around your edges. Either which way is easier for you. I traced mine. So this one I went in, I traced inside this one. And then I cut inside that line. So now I have this piece that fits in and gives me my border. Okay, so now <laughs> that I've explained that, I'm going to jump into the tutorial. So uh, for the sake of the video, I have already created three of my boxes. So here are three boxes. And I'm going to show you how to put one together. So let's move all this over. I believe I've got everything cut. Okay, so... We're going to start, that's the inside of the box. This is the outside. So we're going to start by folding these inward like that. I'm going to go ahead and burnish all the edges. And then we're going to go in and glue all of those down. Just like that. You really don't need a whole lot of glue for this. Um, I did put some together using a tape runner, so that will work if that's what you uh, that's what you want to do. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna grab this little mat here so that I don't get glue on um, my desk because I don't have a clear cover over it yet. All right. So, really just make sure you've got your edges and the rest will kind of spread out underneath, if that makes sense. This tutorial, okay, so y'all, when I first got this die... I had seen the example pictures and I knew I was going to love it. Um, but when I got it, like, and I started playing with it, I couldn't figure out how it went together. I looked at this thing for the longest, like, for several days on and off. I kid you not. So then um, I was talking to another crafty friend, Sophia. Um, and I was asking her, you know, if she could see how this went together. Um... She still says that she didn't help, that she was just in the chat talking, but I say she did help. She helped me. Whether she told me something wrong or right, she helped me figure it out in the end. So I'm uh, giving her some credit for that. <laughs> um, I took pictures of the dies and sent it to her, and uh, I say she helped. 
All right, so I'm just folding and burnishing on all of these edges. And if it happens to cut a little deeper, which it did here on this, I'm not sure if you can see the edge is a little rough. Um, and to fix that, I just take my bone folder and go over just with a little bit of pressure. And it evens that out. Um, I think I did mention that when I did this on heavyweight cardstock, the scoring part actually cut through. Um, so for this, I'm using, uh, what is it, like 65 or 85 pound? I'm not positive. All right, so I know those are glued in and glued and scored. We're going to start putting our little tabs together to form our box or drawer. So just glue it, give it a pinch. And then I'm going to go in and press a little to make sure it's adhered well. And then just do that on all four tabs. Um, I think I mentioned I did use a tape runner to put one of these together and it worked just fine. Um, but in case you don't place these tabs right, I do recommend using wet glue so that you can um, move things around if you need to. I'm, of course, using my Barely Arts glue. So for this last one, it's hard to get to that tab once I adhere this one. So I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on both of them. Wipe that off. And I did this at the same time, so I'm going to go pressure for that one and then go back and do it for that one as well. And if you like, you could go ahead and put on your layering pieces for your drawers um, before you put these together. Just whatever works for you. So right now, I'm not going to worry about the layering pieces. I'm just going to put the base together. So I have my four drawers now. And now we're going to work on the base. Uh, not the back part, but the front part here that holds the drawers. So, I mentioned the two pieces that are similar in size. So one is bigger, one is smaller. So, the one that's a little bit smaller is the one we're working with. So, I'm going to go just go ahead and fold and burnish those pieces. Get them ready. So that is our back piece, and we're going to start with our side pieces. So again, there was two, uh, two other ones that are similar. This one's taller, this one's shorter. The shorter one, you need three pieces. Right now, we're working with the longer one. You need two, and that's going to be your sides. So I'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish those as well. Whatever works for you, you can do it as you go, or you can do it all at one time. For me, it depends on my mood. Just depends on how I feel. All right, so we've got those ready. And what we're going to do is... All right, so your short tabs go on top, long on the side. So we're going to start with a long tab on the left side. And... What we're going to do is adhere this onto that tab. So when it opens, it will be attached like that. So I'm going to put some glue on this long tab. And I like to do it while it's folded, just because for me it's easier to line it up. So... I'm going to place that lined up even with the edge. I'm going to, yeah, so it should be perfectly even with the other one. Put 
when you open it up it's perfect right there Go back and add pressure there. All right, now we're going to do the other side. So this one's going to lay down. And then we're going to lay this one on. And line it up. Matching up perfectly with the edge of our bottom piece. like so. I'll have to go back in on that side too. Give it some more pressure. Okay, so now this is what you have. So your top has tabs and your bottom. So we're going to sit it down. Or I like my top tabs or these tabs to be on the top. So now is where these pieces come in. These are the two that don't have tabs. You need two of these. And we're going to adhere this on to this for the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and oops, start putting my glue on my tabs on one end. I'm going to go ahead and do all the tabs I don't like to pry on the other parts doing one tab at a time so I just go ahead and glue all three so I'm gonna take my piece and with it folded like this I'm holding it kind of in that shape I'm gonna place this down on top and it's wet glue so we have a minute to readjust oh. so I'm gonna work on this side lining it up making sure the back pieces lined up also and then just work my way around to the other side And when I've got it in place, okay, I do now. In place, and then I'm going to flip it over and press all my tabs in there to make sure that, that glue is sticking. So now this is what we have. So now we're going to flip it, flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. And it'll be a little bit easier now on the second one since you've already got the first one in place. So. Still trying to get the hang of doing tutorials. I've not done many yet, so please forgive me if this is not the greatest video. Um, when because I had such a hard time finding or figuring this out um, that's why I wanted to do this video so in the midst of my searching I searched for pictures and videos tutorials I searched Instagram Pinterest YouTube anything everything I could think of I searched for and there is no tutorial out there for this die set so once I figured it out I told Sophia I have to do a tutorial since I couldn't find one, I know I can't be the only person who, you know, doesn't figure these 3D projects out immediately. Somebody else, uh, she agreed and said that I would be saving headaches. So I hope this video does uh, help someone. Alright, so now we have this. We have the little box that is going to hold our drawers. And next, 
Okay, next we need to put in our little dividers, which will hold our drawers. So, that is where these three pieces come in. So, I'm going to go ahead and fold those. And I want these to kind of be um, stiff, so I'm not going to burnish those. I want them to kind of stand out a little bit versus lay super flat. So, I'm not going to burnish those. Just give them a crease with my hands. And the easiest way I have found to do this, you can go in with a, you know, a pencil and a ruler and make measurements. Um, the easiest way I have found is actually to put a drawer in here. Make sure it's all the way back, all the way to the bottom. Take my little divider. Let's add some glue. And we're going to put it in there while the drawer is inside because that will give us the perfect spacing we need. The first time I did this, um, I marked, I went in with a ruler and pencil and marked it, and somehow I was off, and one of my drawers ended up not fitting. So this next time around, this is what I did, and it came out perfect. So while it's sitting down, if you can see that, with the glue in, we're going to go ahead and slide it in just like that make sure it's out of the way to the back and then I'm going to go back there with my bone folder and make sure it is in fact laying flat on top of the drawer it's right where I want it so now I'm going to touch the sides so that the glue grabs I have it right where I want it now I'm going to pull my drawer out real quick and I'm going to go in with my bone folder and press down on that little tab inside just to make sure we're getting a good stick inside there. All right. So now my drawer can go in and I know that it fits. So I'm just going to continue doing that with my shelves until all of my pieces are in. Next drawer, next divider. I am going to do um, all this on video, so if this part is simple for you or you don't need to see it, you can skip through. I don't think I can go in and edit from a live video, so. All right, we're going to put that in. Put that in. All right, all the way to the back. I'm going to go in and make sure it's sitting all the way down on my shelf. Again, touch the side so the glue grabs. Oops. Pull my shelf out and then use my bone folder again. And then we have our next one, and our drawer can go right back in. And you can see it's giving the perfect fit and uh, spacing. So, we have our last one and two more drawers. So, we're going to put our drawer in. After I finally figured this out, I was telling Sophia that I felt so silly for not being able to figure it out. Um, and I'm pretty sure I told her thank you, even though she does not say or agree that she helped um, in my eyes. She did. So, thank you, Sophia. All right, so, that is in there. All the way back. And then push down the bone folder. Got some glue there. All right. And 
And then this is our last divider. So there's our last divider. And now all four of our drawers fit inside. Um, I wanted, to, I did not, um, I'm not going to layer uh, my shelves. But you could, you can use that die. this one so just the way I did the layering for the other ones you can go in and either cut this you can cut this and then trim off some or trace it and cut it out like I did and that can be your layering piece and then also for the drawers I may go back and do this so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm not going to cut the whole thing out again because I'm, that would waste cardstock so I'm going to take my cardstock um, trace the inside here and then cut inside that pencil mark, and it'll give me the perfect fit for a layering piece inside my drawer. All right, so let's put in our last drawer. There we go. And that is the base, the main part of our project. All right, now... I will quickly show you this part. So first off, if you want it to be open like I did on this one, we're going to need to cut off some tabs. So with the short tab being on top, long ones on the side, we're going to cut off one of these tabs. Just like that we're going to do it on both pieces all right and then we're gonna fold these Go ahead and do that for both pieces. Mm -hmm. My mom is trying to call me. I swore, could have sworn I told her I was doing this live video. So now both of those are put together and we're going to need our side pieces, not put together, folded. Um, so now we need our side pieces and this is going to make uh, basically the spine of our box. So one goes on the side here and one will fold over to be the top. And so because we won't want them to be open, you can cut that off or glue it down let me make sure there's a straight line and i'm just going to snip it off this time right on that score mark and so we're going to fold our other one and then there's a small tab, and we're going to use that tab to adhere this other piece on, just like that. So, I'm going to add some glue. Oh. And go ahead and put that on there. And like the first part, when I folded it, I'm actually going to fold this tab in. And, okay, make sure that that is straight when it lays down. And it is. Yep, so, now I'm going to go back and apply some pressure just to make sure we have a really good grab on that glue. Okay. Now, uh, the next part is doing the back and the front of this. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do the sides on this and then the next piece. If it's easier for you to adhere, you know, this tab first and then this tab and work your way through, you know, that's, if that's best for you, then that's cool. So I'm going to add glue again to our tab. Make sure I'm still alive. Okay, I'm still alive. Oh, I made a tutorial on this and then lost my footage and like it cut me off and I wasn't finished with the video and then I didn't have enough space. All right, so same with the um, that first one. I like to lay it down and line it up on the edge there. And now this is what we have. So I'm going to fold this one up. We're going to add glue to this tab. Turn it over. Oh, I got some extra glue there. All right. And then just line up that edge the same way. Well, you can't lay this part down like you like I did the first part, but um, just go through and make sure it's lined up. Okay, my mom is calling. I'm going to have to answer right quick so she does not flip out on me. Hey, I'm live. I am live. Okay. And we're going to move on to our last tab. Sorry about that, guys. She didn't know I was live, and she, but she would freak out if I didn't enter the phone. <laughs> All right, and then just go on and line that tab up the same way. Give it a pinch. Make sure it's where I want it to be, and then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing to my tab. All right, so we're almost there. We have one last piece. So now this piece is going to go on here. So let's add our glue. And then we're going to gently. Press it on. Get it lined up. Hmm. This is not my favorite part. Okay, there we go. Give it a press so it'll catch. And I'm going to flip it over. I'm going with my bone folder. Okay, now we have our bottom piece. Hmm. So you can do it inside and then reach down in there and press, but actually you're not going to see that. So I think this time, so it's not so much trouble, I'm going to adhere it on the outside. That's what I'm going to do. Because you're not going to see it. And... It makes it easier versus trying to get my big old hand done inside there. So, on the inside of the tab, if you want to do it this way, is where you're going to put your glue. If that bothers you, obviously put the glue here and then inside. So, for this one, I'm going just like that. Use my bone folder to press. And then we have our last piece here. All right, I'm not going to pull too much. I don't want to pull that other piece undone. 
So I'm going to start at this end. Put my glue on. And then work my way under there to get it on that tab all the way. Okay, and then just line that up. And then I'm going to go in. I forgot which one. And this one's along the side, so it's not so hard to get to. So just run your bone folder up in there and give it some pressure. So now we have the back piece. And, okay, I want this part to be seen. Um, so now the only thing left to do is to adhere it onto your box. So... You're going to take this part that we already built and just put some glue on there. Okay. And then with it sitting flat, just to make sure it lines up right, I'm going to set it flat and then push my box into the other one. And I'm going to use my fingers just to make sure the sides are even as well. Or you can turn it to make sure. And that is it. I'm going to take my bone folder and then... Uh, some pressure in there just to make sure that the full back piece is adhered really well and that is it it didn't seem that simple at first that's why i wanted to share this tutorial with you guys so no one else um, has such a headache with it like i did so that is our little project so then you would go in and cut your pieces and then layer it up just like this one and I think I might make this match and, and I might put them together um, like that. But like I mentioned, leaving that open makes it useful versus the closed one. So yeah, that is it for this tutorial. Um, I didn't do the other pieces, uh, but that one is simply scoring and folding almost accordion style, in, out, in, and then adhere it. Um, if that part is not simple for you and you need help, just let me know and I will um, do a short or something and show you that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you on the next video. And remember, the links will be in the description box as well as a coupon code if you want to hop over to Global Land and grab this die for yourself. All right.